everyone, this is Gina. Welcome back to my channel. And I am going to review a product. Um, this was sent by Artbeak on, <laughs> on Amazon, and I just didn't have the time to do the review. Um, but uh he has contacted me to work with him. I am so sorry, RB, because just I've been super busy. Um, so I'm going to review the product. This one is for oh, 40 pieces. Now, I will have the link of the, the RB in the description down below um, that we can go directly to them. And they have all sorts of different um, bundles, like 40 piece, 80 piece, 100, etc. Um, but... I am going to share this and I'm going to, this is the third time, but I want to try it on a watercolor. This is alcohol markers. Um, so I bought a, a watercolor pad. This is from Hobby Lobby. I want to see if it blends well. I've been using this as well. Um, I have like 80 markers and the last time was like, I can't remember. Um, so I appreciate you, Arbeek, for, um, contacting me. I continue, I just love working with y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and review the product. Um, it comes in this bag, which is the black bag. And it has their logo, Arbeek, and it's a 40-piece alcohol markers. And it's got the handle. It's a cute bag. Um, and then when you open it up... These are the beautiful markers. Now, I, even if I use my other ones from Artbeak, they work perfectly. None of the inks got dried out, so they're fabulous. Um, I read reviews that some people get it and then the uh, inks um, kind of run out, but that never happened to me. Um, these colors are very, very pretty, kind of like a soft, soft color, cool tone color. And then it comes with this little uh, paper or, uh, I'm sorry, swatch charts. I never use these, I don't need to. Um, so I'll put that to the side. And then it has, I'm gonna see if I can, um, whew, <laughs> take this out. It comes in this really pretty white, uh, what do you call it? Mm. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to, trying to take this out. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Okay, it's not coming out. And I want it to come out. Okay, here we go. Right? Oh, here we go, here we go. Please come out. And there we go. I am so sorry, guys. I try to do this. I want to share what it comes in. Um, I might have to not use this bag. But it comes in this white, um, like a storage thing for your markers. Now, I did order more of the storage from um, Timu because I want to put all my Arbeeks on here. And I want to know if I could put, yeah, I could put it to the side as well. But I love this case. And it's a 40, um, of course, 40 markers with the 40 lots here. So I want to review these. These are really pretty. Um, so I see some darker colors, some pastel, warm, cool colors. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, they do not come with a blending brush, but I'm not going to use it. I have another one, but it's okay. I am going to go ahead and check this out. And let's start, guys. And this is also going to be like a little chit chat, too. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna talk about, but this color, this one is called mint, uh, mint green light number fifty-eight, and again, it comes with uh, the fine tip, and it comes with the broad tip. Okay, these are pretty. All right, so I don't know where to start, guys. I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit and just start. Look how pretty that is. I really like that. And you can um, go dark if you want to. Let me try the broad tip. 
the bra tip one. I barely use the bra tip. I usually use the uh, a fine tip. The paper's not, okay. The paper doesn't like tearing or anything. Nope, doesn't tear. Look guys, wait, yeah. Um, you can see just a little shadow, but it's barely. So I really, really like that doesn't bleed. That is awesome. I'm gonna try a different, oh, this is a darker green. It's called um, dark green. Uh, let's try the fine tip. Ooh, <laughs> look at that guy. Ooh, wow, okay. That's very, very pretty. Ooh, and this is the uh, broad tip, so very nice, very nice. I don't know. Like I said, I wish I couldn't, I, I must still keep trying to blend um, with these greens. So, let's see here, yep. Okay. Are these alcohol markers? Uh, I think they're alcohol markers. All of their markers are alcohol markers. So that's awesome. Look, guys. Yeah, you can kind of blend. I just need a blending brush. Um, blending marker or what you call it. But, yeah, these colors are pretty. Uh, okay, I'm going to try. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. This one is called Pink, Pale Pink. So pretty. Let's see if it's... Uh, that's a really pretty color, guys. It's a broad tip. Oops, sorry. Let me try this way. There we go. The This looks like the color. That's great. Sometimes the markers will not turn out the color as is on the um, thing. But, ooh, I love Look at that. Ah, that's really pretty. Okay, I want to see if it bled. It didn't come with the... Okay. Let's see if it bled. Or bleed through. Ready? One, two, and three. Guys, I've been going at it with the green. And with the darker color as well. It, it's not... It kind of... It's not... Ble it's bleed. It's just a tiny bit of a shadow. And you can barely see that. And I love that. That way, you know, you don't have to use. This is a thicker paper, uh, watercolor paper pad. But um, I should get, uh, I should get like a marker. My, then I'll take more time. Um, I can blend this out. This is a watercolor um, marker. So um, I can do that another day. Uh, let's try, oh, these are absolutely great. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Ooh, guys, an exact color too. That's awesome. That's really pretty. How's everybody doing this weekend? Anything fun you gonna, guys gonna do? Or I'm just staying home. Might go to the park tomorrow with my parents just to walk around the the pond there it's so beautiful oh this gray is very nice again it's true to its color um let me see here and then on monday ooh, what is this geranium good gracious that's beautiful um it's true to the color again uh on monday my dad's gonna meet couple of his friends and they're gonna go to Carabas and me and my mom probably go grocery shopping we don't I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do um I just like staying home I've been organizing a lot of stuff and I'm waiting on a couple of mails I'm waiting on uh Crafty Bean Tina her D stash box and goodies are coming today and then um I'm I'm also waiting for a, uh, another huge D stash from Angela, from Angela Serendipity Arts. I bought another D stash from her, uh, so I don't know when that one is coming. Um, I got other, like, uh, Tonic Studios is coming. I got a few mail that's coming today, which I'm pretty excited. So, and guys, look at this. 
it doesn't come off. I love that. Oh, wow. Okay. You know how some markers are, you know, you could touch it and it goes on your hand. This doesn't do that. And I'm going to share. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I'm going to go ahead and share. Look. You can barely see that it bled through. Just a teeny bit, but it's like a shadow. And I've been going at it. And um, it's awesome. Now these, like I said, these are absolutely beautiful colors. And these are actually true to its color. I've seen um, some reviews on um, Artbeak. And then some people say they're not, some of the colors are not true to its color. Um, but I never had problems with them at all. I'm not just saying that for the review. I'm being totally honest. Um, I have never experienced any of the markers dried out. Um, I never um, had experience where the color is not true to its color. Um, so Artbeak does an amazing job with all these markers. Um, wow, that's awesome. This one is black. Uh, so I'm very pleased with these. Um, never had an issue with them. Um, like I said, I will have it the link down in the description down below. And thank you, Artbeak, um, for letting me uh, continue to work with y'all. And that's it. Have a great weekend. Love y'all. Bye.